Now, let me pick up off of something you're doing on your sheet right now. We've been looking at area and perimeter for a variety of shapes, and we learned that the circle is special. The circle is special because it doesn't have any straight edges, right? So that's right, it doesn't have edges full stop. Oh, I suppose it's got, you know, well, anyway. So, shh, when are you ready? Chloe. Are you ready? Yeah. Nothing is perfectly round. Now, it's interesting you say that because you're kind of right. You're kind of right. Uh, but, and this is, if you like, I mean, for next year, this is the difference between mathematics and physics. Right? Physics is interested in what you can measure and what's actually there. Whereas maths, a lot of which physics is based on, right, can imagine things which aren't necessarily, don't exist in the real world. So we can imagine a perfectly round circle, even if you can't make one in real life. Um, so we can consider it even if you can't find one and, and hold it and touch it. Now, very quickly, let's think about the area and perimeter of this thing. And remember what the formulas are for it. Okay, so we've got perimeter, which is around, right? Um, and that in, for a circle, it's got a special name, which is the circumference. So sometimes they call it C, right? And that's 2 times pi, that weirdo number, times the radius, right? Isn't that area? Now that's circumference. That's all the way around, okay? I'll give you a tip for how you can remember which one's which in a second, okay? Area is the other formula. What is the other formula? Pi r squared. Pi r squared, good. Now here's how I remember which one's which, because they look very similar, don't they? Okay? Um, think about, we've been thinking about length and area and how they're different. Do you remember that? Okay. So just an example, what units might the circumference be in? What, what, how would we measure it? You might say it might be in like centimeters or meters or something like that. Right? Cm, for example. Okay. But area isn't in centimeters, right? It's in square centimeters, isn't it? Something like that. So you can see that with an area, you've got things squared. And that's why you've got this square, right? For the same reason. Whereas with the circumference, you don't have any squares, right? That's why there's no square there. It sort of carries over here. It's just a one, OK? So they look very similar. That's how you can um, help to remember them. Because really, the reason why this is squared is because it's a centimeters measurement of length times another centimeters measure. Yeah? Say that again. Well, in this case, perimeter has a special name, circumference. So it stands for circumference. Okay. Shh. Now we're looking at a different kind of shape that's related to circles. It's called a sector, right? The way I think of a sector is it's like a yeah, it's like a piece of pie or a piece of pizza. Okay. So, for instance, draw a radius in the circle that you've got there. And then draw another radius somewhere else. Okay, so for instance, if I go down here. Okay, this shape here, and I might, I might shade it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This shape here. I sound really good in my head. Yeah, yeah, they are kind of called pie graphs. That's right, because this shape is a sector, right? Okay, so there's our sector. It's a piece of pie. Okay. Piece now, that's pretty bad, even for yeah. me. But anyway. piece, of piece of cake. Yeah. Shh. Now, if I just want to work out the area of the sector on its own, how do I go about doing that? Let me just draw it separately over here. Right. Mine looks kind of like this. If I want to work out its area, how do I go about doing it? Okay. Well, let me give you an example. Suppose. Suppose. Suppose that was a right angle over there. Okay. What's the um, size of a right angle? How many it's degrees? degrees? It's 90 degrees, isn't it? Now, hold on a second. If that's 90, how big is it to go all the way around the circle? How many Who's degrees? It's 360 degrees to go all the way around. Right? So this is a quarter. Okay. Right, right. So if I want to work out this area, 
Let's actually let's actually put some numbers on it, shall we? Suppose your um, circle had a radius of ten centimeters. Okay. What would be the whole area? The whole area would be pi r squared. R is ten. So r squared is a hundred, right? <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> pi r squared, right? Pi times r squared, r's, a, r's 10, so r squared's 100, right? So you get, you're going to get 100 pi centimeters squared, yes? Okay, now you guys just told me that this, this shape here, this sector, is a quarter the size of the whole thing, right? So therefore its area should also be a quarter. Yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm going to say the area of this sector, right, is a quarter of whatever the area of the whole thing was, right? A hundred pi centimeters squared. What is a quarter of a hundred? Quarter of a hundred? Twenty-five. Good. Okay. So there you go. There's the area. And if you wanted to, you could get a calculator out, work out what 25 times pi is. I'm guessing it's something like 77 or 78, thereabouts. You'll be fine. Okay. But let's try a different angle. Suppose I made it a bit smaller. Okay. Suppose, uh, now I want to pick, pick a bit of a, a more difficult angle. Okay. Yeah, let's get 54. That's a terrible number. Okay. So what does 54 look like? Very funny. Well, uh, 54, something yeah, like maybe yeah. this. <laughs> just over half, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. 54 degrees. I'm just guessing. Wow. Okay. Now, if that's 54 degrees, it's still the same 10 centimeter circle. How can we go about doing it? Now, it's it's not a quarter, is it? And it's not a it's a it's a it's a weird, awkward number. And I could make up any degree there, and it'll be a difficult, right? So tell me, how did you get a quarter? How did you know so quickly that 90 degrees was a quarter of 360? Yeah. It was like, it's like one quarter. And you can see like in the circle, it's like 90. It's like all of it. It's like, it's like one four nineties. You could say, you could say there are four nineties in there, right? Four nineties? Yeah. Which is, which is right, totally what you meant to say, right? I, I could hear it in there, okay? Now, let me say that another way. 490s, that's your 360, right? Okay. Another way of saying this is 90 degrees over 360, sorry, that's a six, that's a quarter. See that? 90 over 360, you can punch in your calculator and you can prove it. Okay. So if I want to know, well, what about 54? I want to know what fraction that represents. Well, I'm going to go, instead of 90 over 360, it's going to be 54 over 360. Okay? Now, I don't actually know what that is, but I don't need to, right? Because it's still going to give me the right proportion. That's how much of the circle I'm interested in. Now, let's just check that value out just for the sake of it, because we can, right? 54 divided by 360 3 over 20. <laughs> Okay, now, if you punch that into your calculator, it'll tell you 0.15, that's 15%. Does that look like it's about 15% of the circle? Yeah. Like, you could, you could get like another almost, almost eight of them all the way around, okay? I think that sounds about right. So, we did that one quarter times the whole circle. Well, now I'm going to go 54 times 360, 54 on 360, times the whole circle, which is 100 pi. Is that right? Which I think is 15. There you go. Okay. So anytime you want to work out what's the area of just part of the circle, okay, they'll give you an angle. They'll tell you how much of the circle they're interested in. Okay, and you're gonna stick it up here. That's the important part right there. That's where the area belongs. You divide by 360. Why are we divided by 360? Can you remember? Because that's the whole circle. 
So 54 over 360 is how much of the circle you're interested in because you don't want the whole lot. Okay? Is that all right? Okay. Let me see if we can push back on this a little more because we're not just interested in area. We're also interested in circumference. Okay? So let's have a go at this guy. Let's have a go at this one. Uh, so this was a quarter of the circle, wasn't it? Right? So therefore, if I want to work out this part here, the curvy bit, right? That should be a quarter of the whole circumference. Yes? Um, how this? Perimeter equals a quarter times the circumference, which is 2 pi r, which in this case would be 20 pi centimeters. Okay? So a quarter of 20 pi centimeters. Now I can work that out, that's fine. But that's only this curvy part over here. What did we define perimeter as? It's the length, the distance, the all the way around. That's right. I'm missing two parts. I'm missing this part, and I'm also missing this part. But you guys know what they're equal to, don't you? 10 centimeters is one. That's, that's the radius. Yeah, that's right. They're both 10. So you got 10 centimeters here, 10 centimeters here. So if I want the whole perimeter, what else do I need to add on to this? Two lots of 10. OK, is that all right? What's a quarter of 20 pi? It's a quarter of 20. Five. It's 5. So it'll be 5 pi. And then you've got 2 times 10, which is 20. And that's how many centimeters you've got. OK? Let's go to this one, because this one was harder, right? <laughs> the perimeter is going to be. I'll slow down. I'll slow down. I've got a quarter here, but I don't have a quarter here, do I? I've got that. That's how much of the circle I'm interested in. So I'll go 54 over 360 times the circumference, which is 25. Okay? <coughs> now that's just the curvy bit, so what else do I have to add? The straight parts, right? Which is still 2 times 10, because it's still the same radius. 2 times 10 centimeters. Okay? Um, now that, I think, I think that'll be 3. You can go check it out in your calculator, see if it works out. Plus 20. Okay, and that's your answer. To go there, um, no, she's not. Oh, she's not. 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 She's